Hey guys and it's time to talk about the Huawei Mate 20, Mate 20 Lite and current 980's detailed specs. It's the third time we talked about the live Huawei Mate 20. The latest report comes with this live pictures of the front panel of the device which reveal the notch display of Mate 20. If you look closely at the side, there's a very very thin bezels with curved edges and on the bottom here is no chin ever. That's why maybe this design crossed 90 plus percent screen to board ratio. On the notch here, few cutouts which reveal more interesting features about it. It revealed the selfie camera, the airpiece, and also it confirmed the presence of the 3D facial cognition system. On the other hand, according to previous rumors, the Huawei Mate 20 will also have the ultrasonic in display fingerprint sensor, making it the most complete Huawei phone. But you know one thing is missing, yes that thing is the 7 nanometer process Kryn 980. It's no secret that Huawei is working on a successor to its Kryn 970 chipset and will stick it inside the upcoming Mate 20 lineup and if the previous leaked benchmark results are to be believed, we expect great performance and power efficiency gains thanks to the 7 nanometer manufacturing process by TSMC. A new report confirms all of that and adds more details to the overall picture. According to the screenshot snapped from what seems to be Chinese hardware identification tool, the Kryn 980 will run Octa-Core CPU in 4x Cortex A77 plus 4x Cortex A55 configuration. But according to the listers, the Cortex A77 core doesn't even exist at this point in time. And according to German Leakster Archon, maybe ARM has something to announce alongside Huawei for IFA. Today's report also revealed that the first cluster is clocked at 2.8 GHz while the clock speeds of small Cortex A55 cores are still unknown. RAM is listed as LPDDR4X which is unsurprising and we also got a confirmation of the Mali G72 MP2 for GPU with twice the number of cores. It should be a massive upgrade over the Mali G72 MP12 found in the current Kryn 970 processor. The specs sheet mentions a second generation MPU to deliver those AI driven features and a triple ISP to make the image processing faster. And it's probably safe to say that the Mate 20 Pro will go for a triple camera setup just like the P20 Pro. Now talk about the base variant of the Huawei Mate 20 family. Couple of moments ago we talked about the regular Mate 20 but we haven't seen it in a photo like the Huawei Mate 20 Lite. The Mate 20 Lite pictures showcased that the device will come with a notch. Mate 20 Lite has a huge 6.3 inch LCD display with a 2340 by 1080 pixels. The Huawei Mate 20 Lite packs a 2.2 GHz octa-core Kryn 710 processor. 6GB of RAM and 64GB of internal storage. The light version of Huawei Mate 20 has 4 cameras, 2 on the front and 2 on the back side. The dual rear camera features a 20 plus 2 megapixel sensors while in the front there is a 24 megapixel snapper and another 2 megapixel camera for depth effects. Huawei Mate 20 Lite runs on Android 8.0 Oreo and is powered by a 3650 mAh battery. So yeah guys that's all on the Huawei Mate 20. Mate 20 Lite and the most fastest chip Kryn 980. Hope you guys enjoyed this video then please give this video a huge thumbs up and make sure to subscribe for the full coverage of Huawei Mate 20 and yeah as always I will catch you guys in the next one. See you soon.